Hi, everybody. Welcome to This Week in Falmouth, uh, brought to you by the Cooperative Bank Cape Cod. I am Michael. And I'm Susan. Hello, Susan. Hi, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are on a beautiful, sunny Cape Cod day. I just came in from outside, you know, I wore a coat to work, and I, you know, it's in the car because yeah. you don't need it. It's so beautiful. Let me remind you that it's November. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate that. Well, yeah. I can't believe the amount of time we spent out riding motorcycles this weekend. It yeah. was crazy. It yeah. was so nice. And it looks like this weekend could be the same thing. Yeah. So, Well, mine is a little bit of rain on Saturday. Yeah, yeah. but once that clears out, that'll yeah. be like two hours in Cloudy, but uh, yeah. And what about nice. that crazy moon you were talking about earlier? Oh, the, full, the, uh, the, the eclipse. Yeah, when it turned all red and everything. It's beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. That would have been cool for Halloween. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> so here we are, almost at the Thanksgiving, nice warm weather. Yep. Two things going on. Tomorrow, Veterans Day. So I want to talk us through that. Yep. So uh, the town does a Veterans Day ceremony, and that's at 11 o'clock on Memorial Lane up uh, in front of the Falmouth Public Library, 300 Main Street. They uh, The little parade starts at the Village Green, moves down Main Street to Memorial Lane, and Memorial Lane is where they want everyone to gather. Um, the keynote speaker will be Ava Smith from the Norwich Cadet and Military Family Member, local dignity, oh, family member, mm -hmm. local dignitaries, will be Coast Guard, Color Honor Guard, Falmouth Fire Rescue Department, Color Honor Guard, Falmouth Police Department, Color Honor Guard, Falmouth Scouting, Color Honor Guard, Brian Baru Pipe Band, Falmouth Repertory Singers, directed by Miss Lana Tariff, Scouting, Falmouth Garden Club, Pastor Nell Fields, Walk White Congregational Church. Uh, following the ceremony, there will be refreshments and light fair at the Falmouth Elks, which is located on Palmer Avenue and sponsored by the Falmouth and Vets 470. Excellent. Wonderful. Yeah. Great way to pay, pay tribute to our veteran. Yes. Come on out. Yes. And, and tomorrow morning before that, at the Flying Bridge Restaurant, will be the 8th Annual Veterans Day Tribute Breakfast. Thank you to the Flying Bridge and Cape Cod Advocates who sponsor this and come with us. And um, U.S. military veterans from all the services are invited to the complimentary breakfast. There are a few seats remaining, right. but there's a limit of 250. So if you're interested in going, call us. And uh, because of that limited seating, it's for veterans and a spouse or a caregiver only. Right. And so call us, 508-548-8500, if you're interested in attending that breakfast, and we can get you on the list. Uh, because after we close today... Uh, that's going to be it. That's going to be it. Okay. Uh, so the traffic will be controlled by the Falmouth Police Department. The uh, Cape Cod Five Red Shirt Friday volunteers will be providing table service. The Falmouth Chorale Chamber Singers are going to sing the National Anthem and America. The beautiful, the invocation will be offered by Reverend Wilma Bain from St. Barnabas yep. Episcopal Church. Guest speakers will include Carissa April, Vice Chair of Joku Veterans Coffee Break, mm -hmm. President of the Falmouth Chamber of Commerce, Michael Kasparian. Yes, truly, thank you. Historian Joe Yuckna from the Cape Cod Military Museum and State Senator um, Susan Moran. Ed Lambert, as he has done in the past of Radio 95 WXTK will be there uh, interviewing veterans and doing his thing. Um, and Falmouth Community TV will record the event live to take for later uh, broadcasting. That's great. Right. Yeah. And it's emceed once again this year by Vietnam era veteran Jay Zavala, mm -hmm. who's very near and dear to the two of us. Uh -huh. All right. And that will be at the Flying Bridge Restaurant. Yeah. So if, again, as Susan said, uh, once we close today, it'll be done. So if you're seeing this, Give us a call. Uh, it's always a, always a, I want to say sell out because it is a free event. It's yeah. always a full capacity event. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah. Uh, John L Wesley Methodist Church Christmas Fair is going to be Friday, November Christmas 11th. Christmas already. It's 30. It starts. Oh, it starts. I know. We're working. I mean, right? We shouldn't be surprised. <laughs> we're working on the, we're working we're working on on the, uh, um, uh, the, the whole holidays by the sea weekend. <laughs> All so, right. Yeah. Well, here we go. This is the first stop. This is the first stop. John yeah. Wesley. Um, over on Gifford Street, there's going to be baked goods and jams and crafts and boutique clothing, attic treasures, jewelry, sweet treats, puzzles, books, wreaths, wooden treasures, and more. And they serve dinner for a fee, uh, 2 to 6 p.m. Excellent. Yeah. Great way. Kick it off. Kick it off. Kick, Kick it off. off. Holidays. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, morning movie classics, movies at the library. This is offered by the Falmouth Public Library right here on Main Street. 
uh, Saturday, November 12, 10.30 a.m. Uh, because of copyright laws, they can't, um, the surprise. they can't identify what the movie will be, but once you register, you'll know. Uh, <laughs> great. It's like a surprise. Yeah. It's awesome. You can actually go to their online calendar and or call them and, uh, and find out what the movie is. Okay. Yeah. Um, alternative gift market That's number right. two. This is the is the second thing for the holidays. That's right. This is at St. Barnabas Episcopal Church, right on uh, Main Street, across from the Village Green. Saturday, November twelfth, eleven to three p.m. The alternative gift market live at St. Barnabas Saturday and Sunday. Actually, after the last two years of being online, they That's were right. live before. That's right. It was always live before. It was online because of COVID. Yeah. Um, but, you know, great opportunity to come in and uh, make a donation to some very worthy causes mm -hmm. as a gift to somebody yeah. near and dear to you. Exactly. Yeah, yeah it's time. sponsored by seven faith communities in Falmouth That's and right. supported by several other congregations. 100% of the money raised goes to the 10 local and 10 national and global fully vetted charities. You know, it's interesting at church that uh, somebody spoke, uh, was speaking about this at uh, Down Church of the Messiah this last weekend. And, and uh, she said that she gives these gifts to her grandchildren. And then sits down with them and explains what these groups do. And, mm -hmm. and the kids are really interested in, like, you know, the money that she gave, obviously, they get no gifts. But, but this, in addition to that, yeah. is, is a good way for them to understand uh, philanthropy and mm -hmm. how important it is to, to uh, support uh, worthy causes. Yeah, so, it's great, 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 idea. great opportunity. It's a great idea. What yes. a great Christmas gift. Absolutely. Yeah, education. Absolutely. Yep. Uh, the Pernum. Pernum Buco, Pernum Buco Piano Quintet presents, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, okay. free concert at UU Film. That's on Sunday, November 13th at 3 p.m. at the Unitarian Universalist, Universalist Fellowship of Falmouth right up on Sandwich Road. Um, it's a free concert of chamber and vocal music by Bach, Schubert, and Vaughn Williams. Donations will be accepted for the Cape Cod Climate Change Collaborative. Music musicians are Sherry Lang, violin, Jessica Baum, viola, Judith Glickson, cello, Michael Goldring, double bass and voice, and Daniel Goodman, piano. Wonderful. That's yeah, just great. Sounds good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, Celtic Vesper Service at St. Barnabas. That's again, St. Barnabas is located across from the Village Green on Main Street, Sunday, November 13, 7 p.m. Uh, invite all members of the community, regardless of faith, tradition, or re religious affiliation, if any, to a service of Celtic Vespers. It's a contemplative candlelit service of music and prayers for peace and hope it will be held in the church on the campus of the parish and features music by Nikki Engstrom, violin, Deborah Gemma or Gemma, organ and piano, and the St. Barnabas choir. Wonderful. And then last but not, not least, least, this is after hours at Cooperative Bank. Now this doesn't happen next week, but I want to put it out there for the following week so you know it's coming up. Uh, this will be at the Cooperative Bank of Cape Cod on Rooster Court on Thursday, November 17th, 5 to 7 p.m. It's our usual well-attended after-hours networking event, right. beverages and orders from Eat Your Heart Out Catering. Mm -hmm. Network, yeah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good way to catch up with your business friends and acquaintances, bring your business cards. It's a good way to make some, right. um, some your networking. And, uh, and our ambassadors are always there. So if there's somebody you want to meet, yeah. I mean, it's just great. We can make introductions. Come mm -hmm. on down, you know, talk about what you're doing, find out what other people are doing, and, uh, you know, get involved in our community. Mm -hmm. Amazing. And we feature a nonprofit every uh, every event. And November and December are earmarked for the Family Service Center. That's right. And so this year, they're asking that you bring either cranberry sauce, chicken broth, turkey gravy, quick bread mixes, apple juice, and frozen turkeys, 10 to 16 pounds. Wonderful. All so right. If you bring that with you, we'll make sure it ends up in the right hand. Absolutely. They'll be yeah. there to help collect. So we want, yeah. yeah. And so that's it right wow. now. So that's great. So, you know, after a um, well deserved and traditional, um, Regards to the veterans tomorrow, mm -hmm. uh, the weather seems to be good. There'll be some outdoor things for people to do yep. as well out yep. there. Take advantage of it. Maybe get some Christmas shopping done a little bit early. And then uh, and check our website too, FalmouthChamber.com, because there's changing. other events on there and exhibits and things that have been ongoing and continue to be ongoing. So yep. there's more to do in town. This is just the new stuff that we're talking about. Right. Yeah. And we'll be back next week to tell you about the next, next week, week in Falmouth. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have a good week.